What is going on guys, it is Major King, thank you for stopping by on the channel, hope you guys are all having a fantastic day. Welcome back to another map review, in today's video we're going to be reviewing Neon. I was the most excited for Neon when I saw the trailer for the Sabotage DLC, and I gotta say, it's a pretty cool map to play on. The map is based in a computer simulation, and pretty much when you die, you'll literally explode into pixels. So right away, I kinda like the creativity. You have really nothing like that, where you just die and you'll explode into something. Uh, we saw it back in Modern Warfare Remastered with Winter Crash, you literally explode into uh, presents. So you're now seeing it again in Infinite Warfare. So I first wanna start off with how does it play in specific modes. In TDM, I felt like the spawns on this map were a little bit off. I kept spawning pretty close to where I died. In my opinion, I feel like that's not fair for the enemy team or my team, and I felt like there was no score streaks being earned on this map. But of course, that was only in Team Deathmatch. But the good thing about this is that Infinity Ward has the ability to change these spawns and make them better. But right now, I'm rating this map on what is it like to play this map right now. Another mode that I played this map on a lot was Domination. It played out pretty fast and pretty smooth for the most part, but I had some ridiculous spawns um, on the way. Just take a look at these spawns. As you can see on your screen, one of them was when I just spawned in and an enemy was literally running towards me immediately. And the other spawn was when I just spawned literally on the sea flag, so I started capturing it right when I spawned in. But for the most part, this rarely happened. And I felt like enemies were spawning fairly close to me as I was running around getting streaks. And you really have to keep an eye open when you're playing this map because enemies are constantly spawning around you and there's never a dull moment. Which is fine for players that like that play style, but for me, I felt like it got really overwhelming, but I could handle it for the most part. The last flaw I had was with the regenerating cars. So every time a car blew up it would just regen so that car could get blown up again and there are so many cars close together that if you're running a secondary launcher you can literally kill like three guys with just one rocket so i think infinity ward has to adjust how long it takes for a car to regenerate because right now it's kind of insane just take a look at some of the clips i got These were the only flaws I had with this map. So that's pretty good considering that Infinity War can fix all these flaws was just an update to the game. Now let's talk about all the positives I had with this map. So the vibes in this map are awesome. There's one part of the map where you just go through like a bar section and you have this pretty cool disco music playing in the background. There's also some pretty cool wall run spots you could go on to get around your enemies. And the atmosphere that you're playing in is just incredible. So for the most part, I really enjoyed playing on this map because it was a really fun map to be on and playing in. I also had some really close games which made this map even more fun so that being said i'm going to give this map a b guys let me know down in the comments what do you think about neon do you like it do you not like it what do you like about it and guys make sure to drop a like on the video don't forget to subscribe for daily quality content as always have yourself a fantastic day peace out everyone. never stops like i'm running from the cops it's hard to stay humble when you're forced fed props but i don't give a damn i am just a man i am not more important than any one of my fans first name bobby so i'm all about the hundreds work so hard everybody think i'm blunted <laughs> gunning hard with the mask and glock and i'ma stay with extra clip